Have you ever seen a chrome beetle and wondered what its shiny, metallic-looking shell is made of? In ancient Egyptian mythology, the scarab beetle was a symbol of the sun, renewal and rebirth, and was often depicted with iridescent wings. The ancient Greeks also associated the iridescent beetle with the sun and believed that they were born from the rays of the sun. In some Native American cultures, the iridescent beetle was believed to have spiritual powers and was often used in healing ceremonies. But how is it possible for the chrome beetle's exoskeleton to be this reflective and shiny? The shell of many insects, including chrome beetles, is not made of metal at all, but of a substance called chitin. Chitin is a complex carbohydrate that is found in the exoskeletons of insects, crustaceans, and some species of fungi. It provides a tough and flexible protective layer for the insects, as well as supporting their body shape and allowing for movement. But why do they appear so metallic? The reason is that the chitin is layered in a way that creates a reflective surface, much like the reflective coatings of mirrors. This gives a beetle a brilliant, mirror-like shine, especially when light hits it at just the right angle. While chitin is an effective material for protecting insects, it is not indestructible. Over time, the beetle's exoskeleton will degrade and the insect will need to molt or shed its old exoskeleton in order to grow a new one. This process can happen several times in the beetle's life cycle and is crucial for its survival. The evolution of the shiny exoskeleton in chrome beetles is believed to serve several purposes. One of the main reasons is protection. The reflective surface of the chitin acts as a deterrent to predators, as the beetle's shell can appear to be much larger and more intimidating than it actually is. This can make it more difficult for predators to successfully attack the beetle and is an example of what is known as startle coloration. Startle coloration, also known as warning coloration, is a type of animal coloration that serves to deter predators by startling or intimidating them. This type of coloration is typically found in brightly colored animals, such as some species of birds, lizards and insects that are toxic or otherwise unpalatable to predators. The idea behind startle coloration is that a sudden flash or bright coloration can be used to distract or scare off a predator, giving the prey animal time to escape. This type of coloration works best when the prey animal is stationary, as the sudden flash of color can startle the predator, causing it to hesitate or back away. Another reason is camouflage. The reflective surface of the chitin can help the beetle blend in with its surroundings. For example, if the beetle is resting on a surface like a leaf, the reflection of the surrounding environment can be seen on the shell, making it more difficult for predators to spot. Finally, the shiny exoskeleton may also play a role in attracting mates. Many insects have bright and fleshy coloration to attract the opposite sex, and the metallic shine on the beetle's shell may serve as a visual cue for attracting a mate. This is an example of how evolution can lead to the development of unique and remarkable adaptations in animals. The chrome beetle's exoskeleton make use of a principle of structural color. Structural color is a type of color that is produced by the physical structure of a material rather than by pigment. In other words, the color is generated by the way light interacts with the material's structure rather than by the absorption of specific wavelengths of light.
The concept of structural color is based on the idea that light can be controlled through the manipulation of its path. For example, when light enters a material with a periodic structure, such as a crystal or a grating, it can interfere with itself to produce specific colors. This is known as constructive interference and it is the basis for structural color. In insects, structural color is commonly produced by the physical structure of the exoskeleton. The exoskeleton of insects, like the chrome beetle, can contain arrays of tiny ridges or other structures that cause light to interfere in specific ways, producing the iridescent colors. In some cases, the exoskeleton may also contain pigments that contribute to the overall color, but the structural color is a separate and distinct aspect of the material. Structural color has a number of advantages over pigmented color. For example, structural color is often more vivid and intense, and it is also more durable, as it is not subject to fading or wear in the same way that pigmented color is. Because structural color is produced by the material structure, it can be very difficult to reproduce with conventional pigments, making it a unique and desirable property in many applications. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing or leaving a like. I really enjoy making these, so that would mean the world. Thanks for watching.